Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Wednesday, 13. Is it 13 or is it 12? 13 March. Brexit is dead. Um, we don't particularly care anymore. We're, we're just tired of Brexit. Cable was up, it was down, it was up, it was down. Now it's 131. We're uh, not super interested in cable right now. Uh, let's take a look at what we are interested in. Uh, first thing we'll do, we'll look at these S&Ps. Uh, they were up eight handles yesterday. Closed uh, in this at this sort of 95 level. We're on the we're looking at the June contract now. Um, high was 01, or actually sorry, it's high was 03, 03 and a quarter. We took off our uh, hedges. Um, we bought down 2740. We still own the 2700 put. Um, so we're, I would say we're about 40% hedged now because of that put. And the put, you know, if we get knocked into that, obviously it's it's in it's profit, but it is it does change your delta a little bit. Um, point is, is we don't think uh, equities have much left in the tank uh, we still are allowing for room for a trade above 2820 like we continually keep saying keep your powder dry for that but overall we like equities left hand side now um, and so that's how we're playing it through through structures boons uh, Kicking the balls looked pretty good there. Down 63.93, came all the way back up, back to this uh, new contract high 164.61. We're right at five basis points. This is key. This area um, between zero and five basis points. Uh, we're arguing this is not going to go below zero, um, and this will eventually turn back down uh, but we shall see we shall see currencies euro squeezed uh, as we spoke about traded up to 113.05 um, late so that was sort of past the equity close and now we've just been doing nothing up here this is a sell um, core short is the way we've put on uh, Tiny shorts on the tax in the tactical book at 96. Um, we like this back lower now. Um, the the tough part is is this is really sort of core short, and your stop has to be above 113.50. So you need to budget for that. One of the reasons we're core short and we're not conviction short uh, is because the average price of your short is very very important. Uh, this kind of trade. Dollar yen is doing nothing. Uh, BOJ Friday 5:30 a.m. Swiss time should be interesting. Euro yen uh, looks marginally mispriced. We want to get short this. We're waiting uh, for either a move up to 125.95 to sell, or we're going to try and time some sort of move when we see a turn bar. Yesterday we did not get short we had that 77 high we traded all the way down to 07 we missed that uh, but we're just patiently waiting um, it feels quite squeezy this whole euro short euro trade short euro yen trade uh, short equity trade it feels all very squeezy so we're we're um, being conservative Aussie has turned uh, we printed the 91 highs we couldn't get back up there fiddled around as the Brexit vote was coming out. Now we're back lower. Uh, I assume consumer confidence last night was not great. Um, yeah, sentiment weakens to the lowest since 2017. The global macro picture in Aussie is very, very negative. Uh, you just have to be careful of positioning and psychology. We're treating it very similarly to the euro. 
uh, Euro trade. We're core short Aussie. Uh, we did ping the highs yesterday, so that was pleasant. Um, and now we're just waiting um, for 70 cents. And ironically, through 70 cents, we, be, we become conviction short. So we will add to shorts in good size through 70. Uh, but until then, could just be sideways BS, and you want to be core short with a good average. What else is out there? Dollar CAD got smacked yesterday. Oil was bid. Uh, again, the long dollar trade got squeezed. We traded down to 113.50. We don't really know what to do with this, frankly. It's, it's surely a fade somewhere around here, but you got to be careful. This oil uh, looks like now uh, it wants to break through this 58 area. So, you know, you want to keep your eye on oil, keep your eye on, on euro and risk to try and time any dollar cad longs. Um, so for now, we, we don't touch. Won't even pull up the cable chart. It's a waste of time. Uh, today we do have European industrial production, and we also have U.S. PPI. So, and U.S. durable goods and U.S. construction spending. So we have some data out. I would say, okay, Eurozone industrial productions pretty important we expect some weakness there durable goods for the, from the US should be uh, sort of the most important of sort of secondary secondary numbers today looks like it could be another low vol day uh, eyes on the news wires Let's see if there's any brexit news that comes out we're also still just keeping our eyes on the news wires for any china trade progress the day the when that does come out we will uh, sell that rally because uh, we feel like this is priced in we feel like any deal with China is not worth the paper it's written on um, and we feel like earnings are telling us that um, from a PE perspective s and is running out of running out of puff all right, I said enough there, uh, core short euros. Uh, if you're lucky enough to sell Aussie last night, stick with that. Otherwise, you want to sell Aussie between 60 and 80. We're watching 125.95 in Euro-Yen. Good luck, people. Make some dough today. Ciao.